Today I'm going to tell you how to unlock your Sunrocket or Teleblend SPA2102R to use with any VoIP service you would like. The first thing you need to do is you need to plug in your computer or laptop into a wireless router or a any sort of uh, normal router, consumer grade router. I happen to have a Buffalo Wi-Fi router of some sort. I have my laptop plugged into it. I have the router plugged into the in my internet connection, which really isn't all that necessary. And I have the SPA2102R plugged in to the router as well. As you can see, the IP address of my router uh, on the LAN side is 67.133.234.1. This is important because this allows us to pretend to be Sunrocket, even though they're gone and Teleblend has purchased those servers as well as IP blocks. Uh, but we're going to pretend to be it so that our router never actually requests uh, that IP address from the internet and that we can fake it into believing that it is downloading from Sunrocket or Teleblend, but it is not. Also, the importance of downloading a config directly from us rather than Sunrocket or Teleblend is that we know the password so that we can unlock it. Whereas right now, you probably don't know what the password and I don't either. So let's get started. You have ideally already installed a web server of some sort on your home PC uh, that you have plugged into this network. I'm not going to bother with telling you how to do that. I'm sure you're smart enough to read some forums and learn how to do that. However, what I will show you is that uh, GMS links us SPA 2102-2102R shows us we have the right path. We have the first file, which is our uh, MAC address, .cfg. We don't really need the second one, but I'm leaving it there so you can go search that thing from the internet to find this file. It's very important you find this file, otherwise we won't be able to unlock the admin side of things and we won't be able to configure our unit. So, we have the web server running, we have our network setup correct, and now we are going to watch as our little unit hopefully will reboot and access our web server. To do this, you pick up your phone, which is plugged into your SPA212R phone line 1, hit star 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 star. Now what you want to do is type reset, which is 73738, and hit pound. One to confirm. Excellent. So now our unit, the lights have all gone off. It is rebooting and hopefully has reset its internal configuration. And in just a moment, we should see the unit ask our web server, which is set up on 67.133.234.1, I'm sorry, dot .53, uh, there we go. And it has downloaded the config to itself and now we know what the password is. The last thing we have to do is unlock the admin screen on the unit. So what we're going to do is pick up our phone again, dial four stars, then we're going to dial 723646 pound, which tells the unit uh, that we want to unlock the admin. The second thing we have to do is give it a password. Because it downloaded our config, we know what that password is, 79309925. Dial one pound and one, and then hang up. And once you do that, I will show you what's next. Listen along. Excellent. Now we have just unlocked the admin menu. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to unplug my computer from the router that we had set up on the 67.network and plug it into the network side, I'm sorry, the Ethernet side of the SPA2102R. This allows us to get a new IP address from the SPA2102 and access the web-based administration. 
hopefully we should have an IP address and we do and what you'll notice here is the important thing is we have a admin login if you don't see that you have done something wrong and should start back at the beginning and start over again you should also make sure that the unit did actually download the config which you confirm by watching the Apache or web server log file to see that it did pull it down so we're gonna go ahead and click admin login you get the login admin and the password is QWE percent ZXC5 you hit enter yes I want you to remember it and I am now logged in now what can we do well first thing we want to do is we want to actually tell the unit never to download its own config where did I put that so let me uh, now you know I can't even remember where all this stuff lives let's see regional oh yeah maybe it's under advanced so click advanced system oh yes this is important delete all of this all it says is don't talk to anything except those things and you want it to talk to everything submit those changes it'll disconnect which is a little annoying but what can you do you also want to click on provisioning and you want to say no to provisioning enable uh, that way your unit will not go out and try once you plug this into the internet to talk to Sunrocket or Teleblend. Save those changes. It'll reset again. And now what you've got is your own unlocked SPA 2102 router that hopefully you bought on eBay for $20 or less and now can connect your home network to practically any VoIP network you'd like. The Sapura uh, chipset is very nice. It works quite well and honestly I believe you'll be very happy if you have any questions Google is your answer